Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Wee Ribbons Cradle. My voice is still raspy, <laughs> but I am my throat is getting better. Uh, remember I showed you that the snow is almost gone? And remember, I live in northern Canada. And look what happened this morning. Da-da-da-da, snow! Oh, why, oh, why did you come back? <laughs> so it's very slushy out there, and it's very slippery. Um, People are skidding in the slush, because it's also icy. It started off as uh, freezing rain, and then it turned into snow, and it mixed into slush. Actually, there's. Let's do this. I don't know how well you can see that. But yeah, people are slipping and sliding. Slipping and sliding like crazy. And <laughs> look at all the steering wheels. Uh, I sound so awful. Oh my goodness. Um, I have Etienne in the. I used to have the car seat here, but now I have um, my lounger. I should bring up the car seat like very soon. It's downstairs. Um, I just can't. Uh. <laughs> so having a cold at this moment is probably because it's been warm, cold, warm, cold, warm, cold. And now we have snow and wind. Uh, so. But um, I assure you, well, it's not COVID. I've taken tests and they're all negative. Like not even a hint of a line. So, guys, I have two announcements non-reborn related. One uh, <laughs> and two. Yay. Okay. <laughs> People are looking at me. Okay. I have to show you some. Okay. Uh, where should I start? I can't even think straight. That means I'm... Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> A couple of videos, I have showed you how I my greenhouses are coming along. This is the very first year I've decided to start starting seeds from scratch. So I bought seeds, and I'm using, like... Um, uh, recycled greenhouses like I've shown you like just containers fruit containers I'll show you but guys I have a problem now I have to show you and <laughs> there's the snow coming from this side guys look how well sorry my voice look how well they are doing this is yellow beans. You know what? I just started off with things I like but sort of like in case it didn't work. But it's been working. So I need to put these into a bigger container. But this greenhouse idea works wonderfully. Like there are no air holes because the condensation acts as it's rain. Oh, yeah. Did you hear that? People are getting into accidents because they forgot how to drive winter conditions. They, uh, Like I said, people have been skidding everywhere and I bet you there's accidents. But anyways, these are my green beans. Definitely, like this one's like stuck to the roof. This is my green leaf lettuce. Which, by the way, when I was a kid, we did have leaf lettuce in the garden. And it works wonderfully on, uh, on, um, oh, oh, through the viewer, I thought, yeah, but look, but look, it's growing, it's growing too tall. Same with these guys. I'm not able to put this down completely because, um, it's on a old lasagna pan and those are, um, paper rolls that I cut up and, um, so... But they're doing, they're doing well. Those are radishes, which I do like, and green onions, which I also like. So, but I'm going to, 
you know what my idea is i have uh recycled pop two liter pop that i'll put now this this is my second batch of green onions that i've been growing since like just the stems i have to rechange the water um i tried planting them but they weren't somebody said to just keep them in water so i have and they've been doing wonderful and i just cut them off and put them in our food so good this one's getting long so yay it's, so this is working but it's working excellent and now they're getting too big for their containers so what do i do next <laughs> i'll show you so for now obviously i cannot plant them outside <laughs> they'll die but um for i have a whole excuse my voice i'm so sorry but i have a whole bunch of these and there is a youtube video of a guy using pop bottles as a greenhouse as well but at least they can grow nice and tall and there's more growth for their roots so so i think they could do thrive they can thrive in those i'll just take out the label and yeah now my second news actually before i get into my second news i actually do have read more news i did reweight bethany so she is nicely stuffed she is her chubby self <laughs> and i love lifting her and holding her she's so cuddly the cuddles kit and beside her oh i have madison maddie <laughs> she's she's still in her easter dress and bethany is in her special spring but did i jinx it it's not spring anymore <laughs> so on the table i have noel noel tannin he is my christmas baby um oh i have to put this way i have to put these somewhere i don't know if i want i don't want to get rid of them because I maybe in the future if I do reborn I would love to have these as test pieces so I could strip these down and try it I don't know uh, it's, it's my idea who knows if I'll ever get to that look at this cute onesie I was gonna put it on somebody around Easter but I never did I have a premium size and a newborn size so would you love to hear my news i am so happy to announce that i accepted a term teaching position it's only from now until june 30th but it will be a full-on teacher's wage which is way higher than just subbing and it's uh they came to me i didn't even apply for any position they came to me and they asked me if i would like to accept a term teaching position and of course i said yes it is at my old school where i used to teach for like 18 years <laughs> so um that means though i will be commuting again on the road on the highway and gas is so expensive but even though my teacher wage take away gas expense is still higher than sub teaching every day so it's worth it uh the sacrifice of me waking up earlier driving is an hour and 20 minutes on the highway just one way so an hour and 20 minutes to work an hour and 20 minutes back every single day i do carpool so that helps a ton with the expenses but yay oh and by the way it's going to be a grade seven position so and you know what these are my old kindergarten kids from seven years ago so it's gonna be great 
I I always subbed in that class in the beginning of the year anyway, so I know who they are. And of course, I've taught them in kindergarten. So this particular school is from nursery all the way to grade 12. And there are about 500 kids at this school. And I've taught every single kid right now from grade 4 up to grade 10. I taught every single one of those kids. So I'm going back to my second home. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. And hopefully next year I can obtain another position for the fall. That is my goal. <laughs> I used to think that teaching in town or even sub teaching in town was wonderful. I mean, it is. I'm only 10 minutes away from my workplace, but uh, the money just wasn't cutting it so <laughs> I'm so happy I've been trying to think like I should celebrate by buying something for the hobby but I'm not sure I my collection is giant so I was thinking of doing a giveaway of one of my dolls but I'm so afraid that someone's gonna win and then they're gonna say how bad it is the boo-boos if if they find any that the box opening wasn't good enough for complain, I don't know. I'm I'm afraid of the complaining because I know I know how a lot of it is. So I don't know. Oh my throat. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I'm gonna go for now. Thank you so much. Oh, and by the way, thank you to all my recent commenters. Um, I appreciate you guys so much, uh, more than you know. So thank you, thank you to all of these people. I really, really love it. Thank you guys. You mean a lot to me. Even the ones who just give me a thumbs up, thank you so much for all of that. So anyways, guys, I'm going to go for now. Hope that you have a great day. And tomorrow I start. So... <laughs> Uh, two days and then the weekend. It's going to be a long day. I never worked. I'll be away from town from 7 a.m. And I don't come back until 5 p.m. 5.30 p.m. So it's going to be a long day. Whereas normally sub-teaching, I would leave the home at like 8.20. Come back for lunch. Go back and be home by like 4 o'clock. <laughs> so I love that. But... I am willing to sacrifice for my beloved school. So, anyways, guys, hope that you have a great day. Take care. Love you guys. Until next time. Bye, guys. Last time, guys. Bye. Love you. Bye, guys.